Hello, it's Kingdom Hearts TV. I'm Turkey Turk. New patch, new everything. I'm really excited about this, guys. So, what does this mean? Well, let's start with the least. If this happens, you still got a frame hanging there. Look at that. So, basically, I shot off of an in between frame, and the other frames is still there. I don't know. I'm this, I get, is it a feature? Is it a bug? I don't know. It's maybe a possible fix to the scorpion conundrum. But anyway, not that practical. I was hoping that I could use a rift between those frames, but no. You still can't lose them while you're building. See that? It just doesn't work. So that's... I was really excited. Um, yeah. Oh well. In other news, we have this, this! Da, da, da. Now this, I am so looking forward to look at this gorgeous beast. Just absolutely gorgeous in every possible way. This is a pack we can buy, folks. This one totally, totally makes sense. It's perfect in every way, except possibly the stickers. Um, look at that. That sticker is um, too tiny. I can make it bigger, but it doesn't really help. It's just like a little horse face kind of a thing. I don't really think it's very nice. I love the paint. I love... The lichen, you call it lichen folks, lichen. It's lichen growing on the stuff, like it's a rock or something. It's moldy and disgusting and just, for what it's supposed to be, it is absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. Uh, what else we got? We got chain wheels. I will never be excited about chain wheels. If you are a new player, you wanna get some blue wheels, don't get these. They're just, they get shot off so easily. You might as well have a small wheel, I don't know. Don't like them. APC wheels are pretty good and they're all steering this time. I don't know, They, they for some reason they caught on. They said, oh, we want steering wheels, not just um, those stupid ones that don't. Anyway, we have uh, a whole bunch of more stuff here. Now we have some decor, which is really, really cool. Let's give that a shot. Uh, let's give it a shot with wheels, Durky. Yeah, it's not flames, which is fine. We have enough flamers already. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm sure the expensive one does have the flames, so that's pretty all right. Um, you have these basic stuff, which I don't really know why they bother with that kind of stuff. You don't really get it, but you don't really own it. I don't know. So anyway, what else we got? We have some of the more amazing parts of this pack, which is an epic flamethrower. Holy freaking crap. I just been, I've been dying for Dracos, never had a Draco. Now I have two epic ones. I, they're, they're really, really good. I mean, they, unlike Dracos, they have a really pretty good range. Fairly, fairly good range. They can kind of go back and side to side. Uh, not too bad. I've tested it out. The damage is real. It is a real beautiful thing. I, I don't know. They're probably going to be OP for now. They might get nerfed later on. And then the parts are really nice. I like these catheters. That's just a perfect name for this. Just disgusting. Um, it's actually just a bit of rebar, really, in, in practice. But you get six of them, which is really generous. Six new additional little fender-type tiny little pieces, which is kind of nice. I like that. You have a hardcore engine, which, you know, is for new players. Not too bad. You have two coolers. Which is interesting. I don't really think we ever need two coolers. I remember, coolers do not stack properly. You don't really have multiple coolers. So, um, and you don't need radiators, obviously, because they fire continuously. So for this guy, I would say give it one good cooler, and that should be it. You're probably gonna need some ammo, too. And here they do give you some two blue ammos, which is really nice of them. If you want a good start, get two blue ammo packs, you are pretty much good to go. So it's really nice of them. Now you have a Maxwell, which is kind of nice, helps the new players have to craft that. You have the Big G, which is pretty nice also. So those guys you can fuse, right? Big Gs are going to get cheap, fuse them. That's what I would say. And you have some big chunky armor pieces like this. This is really nice, kind of sloping. So you can make it for a little bit of a rounded thing. Um, and it's also pretty big, so it's um, five points long, which is a little weird, but you can always cap it off with a hatchet or something like that. And they have these things. This is an eight long piece, which is great. We really needed this one. Uh, just really solid. I love the insides. I really love that tubing. It's really, really detailed and cool. I love it. Very, very nice. Very well done, people. Gaijin designers, you have been amazing. You have this back piece over here, which uh, with a little bit of a pipe over there. All right. All right. I dig it. I dig it. And you get this thing, which is not a bumper, it's a piece. And then over here we have your chameleon. Nice for new players. May want to start fusing that one as well if you have these packs. And last but not least, we have the cab. This is the blight. And as far as I can tell, everything is fine about it, but the mass limit. So the mass is 700. 
It's 700, but it's kind of between the other flight cabs, not too bad. Mass limit is 8300. 8,000, so what are you guys talking about? It's got more mass limit than a boar, so, you know, I, it's all right. It's all right, man. Tonnage is kind of between the Cerberus and the Tusk, okay. It's good. It's, as a regular cabin, I'd say it's good. I, I dig it. But the best thing about this one is the perk. So now that you have these flamethrowers, and of course you have your Dracos, you have your incinerators, you have your porks, you have your mandrakes, all this other stuff can be activated by this perk. So the perk, you gotta run around a little bit. I'd probably get a, a cheetah engine definitely to help you out with that perk. And once you get it, it is simply turn your things green and a lot more damage. That was really, really quick. It's a beautiful thing. So I like this so, 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 so much. Can't even say how much I love it. So what else we got? We got a whole lot more people, a whole lot more. We have a shared blueprint option, folks. A shared blueprint, which will share whatever, I guess, car you have in the garage with everyone who is in the custom game. And that's really neat. Let's try it out. So here I am with a whole, whole bunch of bots. And as you're about to see, look, look, it's all the same, it's all the same as me. Look, they're all the same. Isn't that awesome? So imagine you have all these custom games where you want people to choose uh, one build and just have at it and have fun and it's kind of hard to make them do that and From what I hear they don't even need to have those parts available They can just grab your build and be good to go. So how cool is that? Seriously, um, they're not even activating the perks AI. I guess they don't know about the perk guys There's a perk on the you didn't know that you, you didn't okay. You didn't read the patch notes. Okay. That's cool. So that is really exciting. So look forward to some really, really cool custom games with me and Thorgal and his builds. So just imagine we can have like an X-Wing battle in a custom game. We can have like the speeder thing with the, uh, well I have the Luke version, you can have the Stormtrooper version. So stay tuned for that. There's a new map, Chemical Plant. We'll take a look at that real quick. It looks pretty huge. It also looks like something we've seen before factory a little bit, power plant a little bit. They seem to be wanting to have just bigger, bigger maps. And there's also kind of a lot of little hidden places which you'd never use. I mean, why would I ever come back here? It's cool. I like this thing. I like this thing that kind of toppled over. And there's some big balls. There's some big balls. Hold down. Ooh, a lot of acid pit places. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No, not acid. Not acid. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> Pretty neat. We've seen a whole bunch of this stuff before. They're just kind of putting on the same things. Uh, this is new. I kind of like these big train things that sort of had an accident and then got stuck. What is that? They kind of welded, they welded the buses and the trains together into some huge monster truck thing. That truck should be a little that truck looks really really cool i like that a lot actually um you know what olivia you bother me you bother me otherwise uh what else there is there to say i'm also in a clan so i'm gonna have some clan battles as well that's gonna be really fun look forward to that and we will see what we can do with this automatically i'm saying i can probably just stick one of these things on a dog build and that will definitely that will activate the harvester for sure and that could be kind of cool. Let's see what happens. Okay, it definitely activates the harvester for sure. See, the harvester is activated, does more damage, has that little symbol over there. So that is pretty cool. Now, these flamethrowers do overheat uh, for a while. So you might want to watch the gauge so it doesn't overheat, or you definitely stop on a cooler. Not two, but like maybe one at the cooler to see what happens. Could be really cool for your nummy nummy bits. Nice. Oh no, Ducky! Oh no! Don't do it! No! Please don't do it! Have fun with this new pack if you can. If you haven't bought a pack yet, I do recommend. This looks pretty, pretty good. We're gonna do a whole lot with this stuff. I cannot wait, guys. I will see you later. Ciao, guys. Don't drop that duck and duck. Hey, don't drop that duck.